All the halls of Moore Catholic are bustling with excitement and enthusiasm. It's amazing how much you could do during a three minute class change. School spirit is alive and well in the halls of Moore Catholic. The friendships we have made at Moore Catholic will last a lifetime. We have all grown closer throughout the years. Once a maverick, always a maverick. At the beginning of the year, Moore Catholic celebrates its traditional opening liturgy. It is a wonderful beginning to the school year. Students, faculty, and administration come together to share their hopes for the new year. It is a wonderful experience and expression of unity and spirit. Every year, Moore Catholic starts with the wonderful tradition of Freshman Field Day. The veteran seniors and the freshman rookies get together for some fun. The freshmen get the chance to experience life for the first time as a Maverick.
The homecoming game is a great way to show off school pride. We are all in support of our athletes and football team. The cheerleaders get a chance at halftime to perform and excite our fans. Halloween Day was a blast. The seniors got the opportunity to display their imaginations and innovativeness with their costumes. There were ghosts, goblins, princesses, and superheroes. Seniors even got the opportunity to share their tricks and treats. Every year at Thanksgiving, we come together as a school family to be thankful for what we have at the Thanksgiving liturgy. Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. At the annual pep rally, students cheered for the members of Moore's athletics teams. Moore's cheerleading and dance team led the audience in support of these players.
Moore's eager students learn about topics ranging from dance to calculus. Dedicated teachers present their lessons through lecture, group work, video labs, experiments, and smart boards. All the students receive this information enthusiastically. We know it's that time of year again at Moore when the annual Christmas Mass takes place. The chorus and band perform as we gather to keep the Christ in Christmas. Every year, more Catholic prepares for Christmas by having their annual Christmas show. Friends and family get the opportunity to see all the students' talents in acting, dancing, and singing Christmas carols. This year's winter sports teams practiced hard to prepare for the upcoming season. The teams gave their all and had a successful season.
inform that he's going to be inducted into the CHSA Hall of Fame this spring. Everything that you've done, you were once ours here at Moore Catholic as a teacher and a coach. So we have a shirt for you. I'm not saying you have to put it on, but if you don't, you have to leave.
and help them develop academically, artistically if that's who they are, athletically if that's who they are, morally and spiritually. This year at More Catholic, we had a special event by blessing the Cornet Stone located in our school courtyard. It always remind us of the spirit for which this school was founded. They always remind us of the generosity of so many people, of our benefactors. And may we continue to live the generosity and kindness to one another. We ask all this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And create a but you, you all make a difference within our Catholic school community through service as servant leaders. With all of your distinctive gifts given to you from our Lord, we come together to form what we call our more Catholic family. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good luck, and I'm glad to meet you guys. Good luck with everything. Hope it's all good. Let us begin this beautiful day honoring our seniors. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. God, our Father, as we gather together on this day, in this very uncertain time, we our surety, be our hope, be our consolation. We ask you to bless our faculty members and staff, especially our students, our senior graduating students, class of 2020. They may always praise you. They may always thank you for all the blessings that they have received from this school. 
They may always proclaim your goodness in their lives. We ask you also to bless their families, their parents. May in these very difficult times, they may always find you as their strength. As we ask Mary, our mother, and the mother of Jesus, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good luck, class of 2020. Congratulations, class. It's been great. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2020. It's been great. Welcome, my man. Justin Barisi is committed to go to Iona next year, so let's give him a round of applause. Thank you for the best last two years of my high school. We'll miss you. Thank you for giving me my best high school experience, and I miss everybody. Thank you. Hope you guys like yesterday this. I miss you guys. David is committed to go to Wagner. Congrats. Um, good luck to all my classmates and thank you to all my teachers for a good school year. Good luck everyone. Have fun in college. Congratulations, I miss you guys. Wants <laughs> to study. Legal studies. Legal studies. Jessica Carrion, who's committed to the College of Staten Island to play softball for my guy Eric. Congrats. Studying Study in physical therapy. Class of 2020 was the best one they had in a while, but it's all right. Even though they were quarantined, it happened. Uh, congratulations, Class of 2020. I really enjoyed these past two years. So the top reason I miss school would probably be seeing my friends every day because they helped me make a lot of decisions and one decision that they helped me make was where I'm going to school next year and I'm going to be going to SUNY Cobleskill in August and my major is canine training and management and I'm hoping to get a minor in paramedics so what I'm going to do with that is use it for either therapy dogs or detection dogs in the canine unit but I miss you guys. What's up it's Mike Ragona just wanted to say that I miss everyone at school, I miss seeing everyone's face. I miss playing baseball. I missed out on my senior year, but it's all right. And I want to thank all of my teachers for teaching me great things over the years. And congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm so lucky to have had amazing teachers and build lasting relationships along the way. I'm looking forward to attending Crane University in the fall, and I really hope I could stay in touch with everyone. I miss you guys so much. invite you always to turn to God whose promise never fails and whose love endures all things. Let us pray. Through universal acceptance and academic tradition, the valedictorian is recognized as the student ranking highest in scholarship and who gives on behalf of the graduating class the farewell address. For scholarly distinction and academic attainment, it is my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Alyssa Slater. <laughs> Alyssa will be attending Wagner College in the fall, and it is her 
her intention to pursue a career in early childhood education. Good afternoon, Mrs. DeSantis, Mrs. Rudick, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, parents, friends, and of course, the class of 2020. I am so happy all of you could join us at this joyous occasion. Wow, the time has finally come to graduate from our beloved school, Moore Catholic. I cannot believe how fast it has come. I still remember how nervous I was in my early days here. I didn't know how high school worked or how I would make friends or if I would even enjoy my high school experience. When I first walked into the chorus room, all of those fears disappeared. People didn't care if I was a little awkward or that I didn't know anybody previously. They simply said hello. They took the time to welcome me with open arms and hearts, just as the rest of the school did. Throughout experiences like this, I have learned a lot about myself and others. I, of course, have learned normal school topics, like how to find the hypotenuse of a triangle, how the Russian czars crumble, how to write a college essay. But besides these normal topics, I have learned much about life. I have learned how to treat others around me, how to not be afraid of asking questions or asking for help, how to be a good neighbor and friend. Most importantly, I have learned that family does not only pertain to your blood relatives, but applies to the people who believe in you and your abilities. A true family believes in each other and never gives up on one another. A true family sticks by through hard times and easy ones lifting us up and not bringing us down. More Catholic is a true family. Not only do our families fully believe in our abilities, but so do the teachers and staff here at Moore. They are always there for us, whether it be by showing support at our games and performances or helping us through our struggles in class. We may sometimes struggle, but they have always believed in us and will always be there for us, as we will be there for each other. As we move on and into adulthood and the rest of our lives, know that we will forever be connected through our time here at Moore. Thank you for all making my time here at Moore a time to remember. The lessons I have learned here and the relationships I have made have impacted me for life. Thank you to all the friends I've made here, all of my family, especially my parents who are always supporting me, and all the teachers and staff here at Moore. Without you guys, I wouldn't be where I am today. To end this speech, I of course need to pay tribute to my theater roots, so here is a quote from the ever-inspiring musical Wicked. And now whatever way our stories end, I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. All of you present have changed my and the other students' lives. You have changed our lives for the better and we will forever be grateful. Whether it was as small as a kind word when we needed it, it meant something. Thank you. Now congratulations, class of 2020. I know you will do amazing things. Good afternoon. On behalf of the trustees, the faculty, staff, and Ray, I'm delighted to welcome you. I can't tell you how thrilled I am that we were able to have a celebration in person. It's a, a wonderful gift to all of us. Um, I'm filled with gratitude to the faculty and staff that put this together for you in record time. Um, I plan on just a prop. They just tell me where to stand and where to be, and that's it. I, they've been here day, night and day, measuring the chairs to the micrometer, always a scientist. I'm very, very grateful. I had poured my heart into my first set of um, remarks, but now they're on video, and they were in the news, and they were in the news again, and I thought to myself, where am I going to find new words to express what's in my heart? It's a challenge, but this whole season has been a challenge, so it is fitting. I don't know, and I hope that you have had opportunity to look at your graduation video. If you listen to Bishop Whalen's words at the homily and when he spoke at the end of the Mass, perhaps you could see where Vision Tech was filming behind 
watch my shoulders shake as I sob through the whole thing. So I have yet to hear it all in one place. But he was right. You are my first class. I'm senior with you. You will always be special to me. You will always be in my heart. We wanted that video to be seamless because it's a gift that's going to last you for the rest of your life. So all of those elements were recorded prior because technology is awesome until it's not. But from that time to now, a lot of things have happened and a lot of things have changed. But disruption and discomfort and discourse opens new pathways to new ideas and new opportunities. And we can do hard things, and it is going to be you that is going to lead us into a new world and a new norm. Normally, and I think I might have my first address as principal, quoted Dr. Maya Angelou, I do a lot, but the one I want to referred to this afternoon is do the best that you can and when you know better you do better. I'm also not a person who believes in coincidence and so while all this is happening, distance learning, the pandemic, we had assembled um, committees to prepare a strategic plan for the school. It's called Vision 2025. Students, parents, and faculty, staff, alumni, board members, corporate partners, all came together to create this document, which is going to serve as we move to accreditation. One of the foundation documents is called the Graduate Profile. It is a declaration of what we want our graduates to be after their four years of the more Catholic experience. So this is the first day that the graduates of 2020 are going to hear it. The goal of more Catholic high school is to provide students with knowledge, skills, opportunities, and values to be successful and responsible citizens of the world. Graduates of Moore Catholic High School will be characterized by leaders in their chosen field, instilled with Catholic values and a commitment to social justice. Lifelong learners in order to achieve their personal best and through which they will create for themselves, others, and their communities a future that enhances intellectual, artistic, and emotional growth. Innovative thinkers capable of thinking creatively and critically to solve problems and make informed decisions. Ambassadors for Christ in the world, exhibiting empathy, flexibility, service to others, love and hope. And so I'm now going to borrow from um, Coach DeLacy, who is also a maverick and very vocal for what we did with this document. You enter as a student and you leave as a leader. You are truly a class unlike any other. God bless you. Say goodbye to the past four years of their lives. The 
Make them who they are Here's to you I'm staying in these four walls Thinking about the phone call When they told us we were done Who would have thought That it would come to this Trying not to look back, but when I will get that diploma in our hands one of these days, but it won't be the same. And we know that we can never turn back time. So now we will have to leave it all behind. Well, here's to the ones who won't get the chance to take the field at their last home game. Ask that girl to prom Or sing their school's fight song And here's to the ones who have to say goodbye To the past four years of their lives And make them who they are Here's to you And to the rest of your life It's gonna fly right by So be thankful for each moment Time. And on the road ahead, I hope you understand that there is purpose in the hard time. But here's to the ones who won't get the chance to take the field at the last home game, or ask that girl to prom, or sing their school.